Hello, good morning, welcome to Tuesday. I just have a couple of words about a bit of a touchy subject and my just my opinion on depression. So first and foremost, if you struggle with depression, if you feel depressed, um, first of all, remember that we've all been there in some regard. It's kind of like a spectrum, I think, in that we've all struggled mentally a little bit, but, non but maybe we haven't been chronically depressed. Secondly, the main real message that I want to convey about this today is that it might not necessarily be your fault that you feel like this. This could be a multitude of reasons that are out of your control that you feel like that, but it is your responsibility. So you might have experienced or gone through the death of a loved one, a breakup, a really traumatic event or childhood. Um, you might have, have like a, an autoimmune disease that makes you physically inflamed and causes depressive symptoms. It, none of these are your fault. But they are your responsibility because nobody else is going to come and save you. We all individually have our own shit to deal with and nobody's number one priority is somebody else. We all have to look after number one first. So I think the first job is just understanding that your life is your responsibility and you're the one that has to help yourself. Um, and then the second step is actually doing something about it. So in Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life, he talks about moving from chaos to order. So you want to balance between chaos and order, too much chaos and you end up with feeling lost, feeling depressed, uh, too much order and you end up being too strict, too regimented and whoopsie daisy, I've just given birth to the Third Reich. But if you're feeling depressed, you're likely feeling like there's just chaos everywhere and you're feeling lost and you don't really know what your path is. So um, first of all, the treatment or anything like that for depression are beyond the scope of somebody like me or an Instagram story. But just speaking from experience, personal thoughts, um, my thoughts are that if you are feeling depressed, feeling like there's chaos everywhere, you need to move more towards order. You need to get some structure, some routine and some discipline in your life. So here's what I do. I treat myself like a child, mainly because I am a child, but that's beside the point. I have a bedtime. I have a get up time. I have a routine and a structure and an order to my mornings and evenings. So in this routine, there are things in there that will help my physical and mental health. So um, get up at six o'clock every day or whatever it is, have a cold shower, uh, do a little bit of mindfulness, a little bit of meditating, a little bit of uh, breathing exercises. Uh, sometimes I fast. Get a little bit of daylight exposure first thing. So get some vitamin D if the sun's out, um, you know, get your heart rate up. Don't just rely on stimulants all day. Actually wake yourself up. Um, and then it's just about staying disciplined to it. So like Jocko Willink says, discipline equals freedom. So then you've got your little morning routine, your little evening routine, um, and you've got uh, the little bit in the middle of the day where you can be a little bit more flexible. You can turn, you can pivot. Things might not work how I expected, but you, that, that's okay because you've got that little bit of chaos in the middle of the day to balance out the order. So I'm not saying that what I've just said is a cure for depression. It absolutely isn't. Uh, but it's a start, right? It's aiming upwards. It's um, doing something positive and taking some sort of responsibility for your life. And it can't hurt. Um, if you disagree with me and... You think that I'm talking out my ass and I ain't got a clue what I'm on about, um, then that's cool. I respect that, obviously, absolutely. But um, give me a viable alternative. Give me something that aims upwards, that improves your life um, if you feel depressed or, you know. Because let me tell you something, and I'll finish on this. Posting on Facebook that it's okay to talk is, is cool and it'll probably get a few Facebook likes, but it's not really doing a great deal of difference. Yeah, it is okay to talk, but what are we going to actually practically do to stop young men and women killing themselves every single day in this country. Um, I don't have any better ideas. So if you have a better idea, give me a shout. Or just give me a message. Let me know what you think. Anyway, um, I'll stop chatting shit now. So uh, have a good day and I will speak to you soon.